Hey guys, it's Chan Sarah, Drive the Lightning. Hi. How are you doing today? Good? They're doing good. Thumbs up for I you guys. Doing good. We hope you're doing good because we're giving you a thumbs up. So yeah. if you weren't doing good, maybe you're doing better now. By the end of this video, you can decide whether or not we deserve a thumbs up. No pressure. Now, this video is about the EV life. Now, when Sarah and I first bought our EV until now, two years later, we have had no regrets. Not an ounce <laughs> of regrets. But that doesn't mean we haven't second guessed ourselves a little bit. Right. For example, yeah. Our, I would just like to say what we're about to tell you was everything I was afraid of. Okay. okay. I've said. So we're going to tell you the disaster, nightmare, horror show that was our drive home <laughs> from Toledo, Ohio with our brand new first ever electric vehicle knowing nothing. Right. And how if only the Aptera was available then. Oh, Aptera. You it could have saved changed so much. Everything. So stay yes. tuned to the end. We'll explain why the Aptera is going to put away these fears. If you have been following any news about Aptera, as we go through our story, you may see some flags like ding, ding, ding. I know why Aptera would help with this. And if that happens, feel free to comment down below. Yeah. Also subscribe. Okay, let's oh, that'd move be great. on. Okay, good. So when we bought our Nissan Leaf, we bought it in Toledo, Ohio, which yep. is 189 miles from our front door. And you're thinking, hey, no big deal, because the Nissan Leaf has over 100 miles of range, a 2016 30 kilowatt battery. And when we pulled up our charge point app, Sarah and I showed you this, and I said, look, yes. here's the chargers that look like this. And you can see Michigan is blanketed in beautiful Fast chargers, chargers. everywhere. Yeah, every chargers everywhere it's from charger Toledo soup. to here. But Sarah says, "No, no, no. We're not going to go from Toledo to home. We've got to stop and show this thing off." That's right. So we go from from Toledo, Ohio, to Quincy, Michigan. I think that wasn't that built into our we our charging plans anyway. That was like a selling point. You're like, if we go pick it up in Toledo, then we can also stop by and see your friend. Well, and let's I was not like, argue. Okay, yes, not that would be nice. in front of YouTube. Okay. But anyway, that's about 88 but I'm miles. Right. 88 miles to Quincy. Right. So here's what happens first. We get to the dealership. We sign the paper. And he says, what? Do you want to test drive the car? And Sarah says. Before we signed it. When we first got there, he said, do you want to drive it? And we're like, nope. Too nope. late now. <laughs> nope. We already know what we're buying. We also, know everything. For the record, we drove our rickety old car that had no legs left. Like we weren't sure it was going to we get us sure. there to trade in. So we have no backup plan yeah. at this point. We either have to buy the leaf or buy something else because yeah. we're done. It was less about us leaving with the leaf and more about <laughs> them keeping the HHR. <laughs> So, it's like, I don't care what happens. I'm not taking that thing anywhere. And nothing against the HHR. I have a sentimental attachment. It served us very well. And we put lots of miles on it. Lots of miles. Lots of money. Done. Lots of elbow grease. Lots <laughs> yeah. of broken knuckles. All of it. Into that car. But it wasn't going to make it to Toledo and back. And back. So it was going to have to stay in Toledo. Okay, back to the story. <laughs> Whatever. So he says, you want to drive it? We say, no, give us the keys. We're out of here. We've got it all figured out. Sarah we and I are pretty we smart. We did our research. So I have Sarah drive off the gate and I say, Sarah, just get on 8090. That's the tollway. Goes across the Ohio Turnpike, also mm -hmm. Pennsylvania Turnpike. It just keeps going west mm -hmm. from there. And boom, we're up to 70 miles an hour. And then all of a sudden, what happened is your your thing that says how many miles you have left. The gasometer. Just, yeah, it starts tanking. <laughs> we didn't know that when you're on highway speeds, you use more energy. Right. You would have thought we'd have known that. Yeah. We've been driving for 30 years or so. We know cars burn more gas. On yeah. the highway, but... Yeah, so apparently this vehicle has been on the car lot, and it has maybe driven from the garage, from the lot to the garage where they do their little detailing, maybe to the car wash and back. I don't know if they do them in there, but that's a whole different kind of driving. So different the gasometer, kind of the original reading was based on driving like four miles an hour. Yeah, I think we got Which in and it, we said, it said you have like 105 miles. And we <laughs> got on the highway and it's like, you have like 60 miles or you're going to die. <laughs> and we've been like 15 miles and we've lost 40 miles. And I am literally having a panic We're attack. We're losing our minds. We're like, I am so, so petrified. I, so I'm searching the charge point out. Find me a charger. Okay, Sarah, I found a charger at a rest stop. So we pull into the charger and Sarah pulls up to the charger and I get out to plug it in and... <laughs> That's not the charger port we have. None of those match up. It was a CCS. You can't put that into there. It was an Electrify America work. station, which shows up on the charge point app, to their credit. But it was a CCS plug, and we have a chat So now we're right. thinking, oh, no. We don't know if we'll make it to another place. 
Well, we walked around a lot a little bit. The rest of it, we found the Chatamo <laughs> Charger. Realized we needed a Chatamo. So that's found challenge Chattamo. one. Yeah. Challenge one. And I would like to say that that first charging went really smooth. smooth. We plugged it in, went inside, used the restroom, got a Diet Coke. Yeah, Chad calmed me down a little bit. And then, then by that time we were done with all of that, we had to sit Ready for to maybe five, ten minutes. Yeah. Just just not rushing, which was good for my you know heart rate to get it back to normal. And it wasn't very expensive. And now we're charged up and yeah, four or ready five to bucks. finish our trip. So then we head in from there all the way to our friend's house in Quincy, yes. Michigan. And we're just going to have lunch. We're going to sit outside and talk and visit and show off the new car. Show them why we're so superior. Because we now drive electric. Ooh. And you guys are still driving gas. So we're obviously smarter, way smarter than you guys. <laughs> so we sit there, eat lunch. And now we've got to get to the next... Oh, go ahead. I have to say, they said... Well, how do you charge it? Do you need to plug in while you're here? And we're like, no, no, no. There's a fast charger really close. So we're just going to plug in and head out. And it's going to be super fast and easy. So no, 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 no. We don't need to charge while we're here. So from the adorable little town of Quincy, Michigan, (laughs) we get on um, Highway 12. And we go to the adorable, slightly bigger town of Coldwater, Mm -hmm. Michigan, where we know from our app that there's a fast charger downtown, a free one. Just nice. Charger. So there's only like 6.9 miles between them, mm-hmm. and we have to get to Kalamazoo, which is another. Oh, let me see. I have notes. Oh, clever you. Uh, Kalamazoo is another 57 miles from Coldwater. Okay. So we only have to charge a little bit. Yeah, just a little. So we pull into the fast charger, and it's a <laughs> level two charger, oh, no, which no. people call fast. We did not pull into the fast charger. We pulled up to the fast charger where there was a car charging right, for Chevy like Bolt. an hour or two hours. Yeah. So we're waiting. we're waiting. We don't want to tell our friends. We could have just gone back there, but no, because we told them we're just out we're of fine, here. We're, we're great. Fine. We're superior now. So now we're in cold water, but really we're kind of in hot water. We're in hot water. Oh, good one. Hey. <laughs> Hot water and cold water. <laughs> so then I checked the app, though, and then, hey, there's another charger. There's two fast chargers in cold water. Woo. It was at a car dealership, and it wasn't available for use. <laughs> we, we drove to it. Yeah, so fi- finally we do get we charging. We plugged into it. And that's the first time we realized <laughs> that a fast charger is not necessarily fast. Because a level <laughs> two charger, that's the one that's kind of like a stick. You'll, you'll recognize them because there's nothing to them, but a couple of plugs in it. It looks like a stick. Well, they charge it maybe... 20 miles of range in an hour. <laughs> so we're looking at that and we're starting to do one of these numbers where you're trying to massage the temples. Because yeah, we've back already Earth, waited for to ever. get to charge at that one because that was the only one nearby. And we've got to get another 57 miles. And I think at the time there was like 35 left <laughs> on our gasometer. I think that's about right. Which we no longer trusted at all. Right. So we're thinking 35, or, but if I get on the highway, is it going to go down to four? Like that? Like yeah. nothing? So we so, were terrified. So we're sitting there. Yeah, she was scared. <laughs> I was a little nervous. I couldn't It's getting show it. dark now. It's getting dark. Yeah. So we're sitting there. We're charging, charging, charging. I'm doing the math and okay, we just got to get to there and it's only uh, 57 miles. We can do it. Blah, blah, blah. We get up to where we can just barely make it. And but we, we're done. We're so done. We're, we're so tired. tired. We want to go home. We should have been home by now Hours in my ago. book. So we get on the highway and then we say, let's get off the highway. So now we get on some kind of crazy. Because when we got back on the highway, the miles drop back down too fast. So we're like, okay, let's not do that. Let, it likes the back roads. The gasometer does better that way. So we take these 45 mile an hour roads and we're, we're doing okay. You know, we're going to make it with a couple miles to spare to the next fast charger, which we have no idea what that means still. And detour sign. Oh. And we have no idea how long this detour is. I thought you can't make us stop. And this, this was the first awful. time we understood range anxiety. I've read about it. I've never, of course, it was the first time ever driving an electric car. Right. We believe, though, because we're so smart hmm. that we would never have range anxiety because we know where all the chargers are and we know how they work. Don't tell Chad, but I had range anxiety. But now it, like, my fears are all coming to life in front of me. It's like you have a nightmare that you wake up and realize, wait a minute, that wasn't a dream. I wish I was dreaming. That's my real life. I'm actually alive. I'm actually, actually awake and, and this awake is and my this is life. happening. Oh no. So we take the detour. 
we make it to that fast charger. Now that was a <sighs> DC fast charger <sighs> that had a Chatham port. Yes. And we were only there 15 or 20 minutes. Right. And it felt good. Right. The other fast chargers are like, what are they like? J1772 well, the port or they something? Use is your J1772. Yeah, well, which that's is how I learn port. when I look at the charge point app what to look for. What to? I, I want to know if there's one of those there because if I'm desperate, I'm going to have yeah. to use that. But that's not my primary choice if I'm on a road so trip. Now we know what to set the old filter to. Right. Right. We want DC <laughs> fast charging. Yes. We want the Chatham port. Okay. So we know that. Okay. We get on the road. We're headed north on 131. Now from Kalamazoo to Grand Rapids is 56 miles. That's from where we were to home. And we have plenty of miles in the tank, you know. <laughs> but we get on the highway and we get scared again. Mm -hmm. So we jump off the highway somewhere around Wayland, Michigan, and we mm -hmm. slow roll it home. <laughs> so total miles driven was 207 miles the way we took. Yeah. Which in a normal gasoline car or a car with a big charge, you know, big battery, you know, that's a couple hours. That's maybe a three hour drive. For us, it took an entire day. It was awful. And by the time we got home, the gasometer is blinking. It's like, you may or may not have this many miles left. I We know from our research, because we didn't have a charger installed at our home yet, we knew that about four miles from our house, but the opposite direction from where we were coming from, there's a, a fast charger but we're, I'm like, I can't take any more. I need to go home. Let's limp it to the driveway and we'll just, whatever we have to do after that, plug it in the trickle charger, whatever. I just need to be home. Yep. So we learned all about range anxiety <laughs> on our very first time ever driving an electric car. <laughs> Two years later, no regrets. However, we have pre-ordered the Aptera solar yes. powered electric vehicle. And this is how that vehicle would have saved the day. Also, I want you to know if you have not pre-ordered, there is a link in the description. You'll save $30, which means it cost us $100 to pre-order. It'll cost you $70, and you can get on the list to get one of these solar-powered electric vehicles. And by the way, when you do that, Aptera will give me a million dollars. That is false. Yeah, but they'll give us they some money not. off of our Aptera. But if you subscribe, YouTube will give us a one million, million dollars. Million dollars. Also, no, false. also false, but we'd love it if you'd subscribe, subscribe if you like us. Okay, so the Aptera, here's a couple of ways it solves that problem. One, the smallest variety planned will have 250 miles of range. We wouldn't have had to charge it all between Toledo and home. Yeah, so like that would help. <laughs> right now, that price is 25,900, I think, or 256, somewhere right in there. But just over 25,000, you got over 200 miles of range. You have that because the car is so insanely efficient. Right. It has zero drag almost. In fact, Sarah, the rear view mirror on a Ford F-150 has more wind drag than the entire Aptera car. That's Crazy. pretty impressive. Another benefit. Mm -hmm. Remember we told you we sat at our friends, had lunch, did nothing. Well, it happened to be a sunny day in Michigan, which there's only five a year. <laughs> and this was one. This is one of those five sunny days a year. <laughs> the Aptera has solar panels mm -hmm. on it. That time we were sitting, we would have been charging. We would have had plenty of miles. Even if it wasn't filled up with miles at the dealership, the solar power for would the have, time we were stopped would have been enough to charge it. We could have passed that whole slow charger mm -hmm. nonsense. We wouldn't have had to wait in cold water yeah. for the charger to be ready. So that's just a couple of ways that Aptera is making the EV experience 10 times better than it was when we started. Now, yeah. we better understand the charging infrastructure now. We don't get yes. into those pickles. That was the only harrowing experience we had. Just that first one. Yeah. We learned all the things to be worried about and fine-tuned our understanding. So we don't have those. Yeah, we, we've good. never had another experience like that. And you should never have that experience because you should buy the Aptera. Plus, you should like watch this doing. and learn from us. And if you have any learn questions before you buy your first EV... Message us. Message us. I mean, leave a comment leave a down comment. below and we will respond yep. because we want to help. We yep. don't want anybody to go through what we went through. Yep. We drive the 2016 Nissan Leaf. Our family also owns the BMW i3 2017. Mm -hmm. We know quite a bit about those two cars. Anything we can do to help, hit us up in the comments. Yes. Chad. Sarah. Drive the Lightning. We need a couple of these. Please. You, or these. Hey, you know, go with what your heart says. Yeah. If this was awful, then, you know, let, yeah, like, let yeah. us know. Let YouTube know. Also... If you want to learn more about the Aptera, there's a video right between us here that'll explain a little bit more about the solar power. Yeah, if you've vehicle. never heard of it and you're like, what are they talking about? Check out this video. Check that out. Uh, anything else? 
I think that's it. Did you subscribe yet? You still have five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Thank you.